you settling in? Yeah, yeah, good. Um, you know, I'm staying with um, Pat McGinnity. Um, he's a he's a top bloke. You know, he looks after me. And um, yeah, down here at the club, all the boys get around me and you know settling in pretty well. That's Tom's good. getting food cooked for him. He's clean as well. Are you getting the same treatment, or is Patty giving you the the hard uh, start? Oh yeah, he cooked for me last night. We had takeaway the first few nights, but you know, um, yeah, it's good. What did he cook for you? We had uh, some pasta. I had. He had chilli in it, so um, he got me onto that, so I was a bit spicy, but yeah, it tasted alright. Yeah. How are you finding pre-season so far? Yeah, it's pretty, um, you know, it's pretty cruisy for us at the moment, um, that's because we're new recruits. Um, yeah, they're just taking, us, taking it easy on us and, um, you know, easing us into it, so it's, it's been good. Can't, can't wait to see you can sink your teeth into it though? Or? Yeah, looking forward to, you know, getting in, into the hard work and, um, you know, getting, getting started on the, on the actual pre-season. And, um, Really working hard. That's what that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Tell us about your kicking. You're known for the, a lot of the reports said you're a good kick, and yep. it's important to be a good kick in the way the game's played these days. Who taught you to kick a footy? <laughs> um, yeah, my old man. You know, he he gave me a footy um, when I was young, and, and really really taught taught me how to uh, kick the footy properly, and and work my way up through through juniors and and senior footy, and um, you know you have to you have to be able to kick to play to play footy, and um, you know that's one of my one of my strengths and that's what I work towards so yeah it's been good How old were you when you started hammering that into you? Like four years old? Five years yeah, old? Yeah probably around there you know he, he pretty much gave the footy to me as soon as I as soon as, as, soon as I was born so um, yeah you know um, then worked on Toz's kick and through all that and yeah it was good So he obviously played or did he coach or anything like that? That was a basketballer so he um, you know he, he he taught me how to play basketball but also taught me footy on the side and that was one of um, his life goals to to get me to the top level and not, not only his but mine so um yeah he, he worked hard with me on that so was yeah. he a good basketballer or was it just a suburban sort of muck around sort of basketball oh, he tells me it's pretty good but um <laughs> yeah he, he played state basketball for victoria i think so um he went over to the states and played played a few games in his college, college team so yeah he, he was obviously a pretty good basketballer yeah so what lured you to footy then um just growing up um, Dad always always spoke about footy and, and watching it on TV and you know you you, you um, gain some heroes through watching it as a young as a young fellow and um, they inspire you to inspire you to uh, make it to the top level and that's what that's what drove me and and also Dad along the way um, really drove me to to work tw- towards my goals and um, yeah to fulfil it was a dream come true. So who are your heroes? Who you who you always looked up to? Obviously Dad, you know. Um, and one of the heroes when I was younger was James Hurd. Um, and watching him um, as a young fellow and, and really, really inspired me to work towards my goals to play AFL. Um, yeah, and, and he obviously was a, a very good footballer in his day. Um, but yeah, he's definitely somebody that inspired me. Bombers fan? Yeah, Bombers fan, yeah. Did you know much about Perth before you got here this week? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, I came over here through, through Nationals this year when we played. We played Perth at Subi and um, yeah, it was my first time over here. Um, so yeah, still getting to know the getting to know the joint, but yeah, really loving it. What's um, Adam Simpson said to you? What was the first thing he said to you? Um, well, the night I got drafted, he called me and and pretty much said, you know, congratulations, but as soon as you get over here, it's um, straight into the hard work. And you know, um, he, he said that all the boys would get around me and they sure did. And um, yeah, just. Just to work hard as soon as I get over here and you know focus on um, what the team's got to do. Have you set yourself any goals? Do you want to try and crack a game next year? I know obviously you would, but have, are you being that specific when you set your goals? Yeah, you know, you obviously getting drafted is one thing, but to to get a game is another, and um, you know that's obviously one of my goals to to play to play next year, and I'm going to work work pretty hard this preseason to try and get a game and crack into the side. So yeah. Who are you hoping to learn off? within the squad? Um, obviously Pat McGinnity, you know, um, staying with him, um, but also I've been, been running around, um, getting to know Pritis and, and a few of the um, on boards, outside on boards, um, like Gaff. And um, yeah, so I think they want me to play sort of an outside midfield position. Um, yeah, but to, to learn the ropes off those blokes has been good, especially the first couple of days. Um, yeah. We impressed with the Place in the 2K time trial the other day. Yeah, it was. It shocked me. Um, I know all the new recruits um, sat back and watched the, watched the boys work hard. 
um, in the 2K and yeah, you know, it, it surprises how, how hard these blokes work and, and how hard they, they ran that 2K. But yeah, it was um, definitely an eye-opener, yeah. Do you find yourself all looking at blokes going, I'm still trying to work out who some of these guys are based on the fact that free to air TV wouldn't show yep. this coast all that much into Victoria? Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, you know, I came over here knowing, you know, a handful of players like the like the really good players of the West Coast and um, to learn 40 odd blokes' names is, is pretty hard, especially um, when you've only been here a couple of days. But, you know, like I said, the boys get around, you, you get to know all the players and all the coaches and stuff, but um, yeah, it makes life easier.